hello guys welcome back again to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video so guys guess what we are doing liha this morning i'm taking you through the process of how they make liha liha is one of our drinks we have also in here in togo most people take it but without knowing how they make it so i'm here today to show you how they make liha liha is also called in ghana asana some people call it epidemic and uh, liha is made of corn millet and sugar but most people make it out of only corn and sugar so guys i'll ask you to watch see the end and learn also how to make this a uh, yummy delicious drink that we mostly take here in togo thank you so much and keep watching hello good morning guys welcome back again to my channel i hope you are doing well i am also doing great so guys guess what we are going to be doing liha so liha is one of our drink we have here also in togo it's called africa coke some people call it africa coke so i'm going to take you through the process of how they make it here in togo so guys don't waste much of your time let's dive into the video so we started by soaking our corn inside water for a day we soak it and the next day we are here to bring it out from the water and spread it on you can spread it on sack if you have any sack you can spread it on any good and clean thing that you see but it's a it keep it in a very cold place spread it on the ground you don't need to be on in a tray or anything and every morning you have to sprinkle water on it in the evening also you do the same thing most people that watch my chokutu video they will know what i'm talking about this they will sprinkle water on it in the morning and in the evening for five good days so after the five days you see that it has germinated and we are going to spread it on sun for four days again to see it will dry it up So this is millet, we just soak it that it's same day and bring pressure. it out from the water, it's just wash it and bring it out from okay. the water, it put it in a sack and cover so it. So here is millet, the same thing we are going to be doing to the rice going to soak for it. Hey, oh, that is three days mm, that is and dry okay. them up like the same way we are going to dry the corn. Okay. So after drying the corn up for some days it takes us like one week for this to come to be ready then we are going to start cooking the drink so please keep watching thank you so much for your time i really appreciate
the color we needed. Then we are going to add the So we just added our millet because it's too small, we are not going to leave it too long on fire. So guys, we started pounding our corn. They pound it first before putting it on fire. Lemon grass into the water. So guys, we are in the process of making liha, that is Africa cook. Some people say Malta, so I don't know this particular one if you call it Malta or cook. But why they are pounding it, the lady says she don't like the one they, they, they grant from the meal, that some people can grant it and some people can also pound it, but she prefers the one they pound, that's why she mostly pound her own. So we just add our millet. We are going to pan the same way we pan the corn. So we just add our corn into the water. Okay, then we add our our millet into the water. Guys, this is going to my eyes straight. The smoke is going to my eyes straight like uh, God. It's burning my eyes so much.
And we, are, we have to leave it to get cold before we mix it with sugar and other things. So guys, it has cooled down now. We leave it for some hours. Now we are back. Like you can see, they want to extract only the water. We don't need the corn or the millet again. So we are now doing it to turn to the juice that we want or the drink that we want. So guys, we are going to wash it again the second time and do the same process. So we just added the sugar into an empty pot and we are going to make it turn into caramel. We will leave it in fire until it turns to brown. So guys, check out the color, it's turning to brown or to black because I'm sure it's going to turn to black before they bring it down. Now it's brown but it will turn, soon it will turn to black. So guys, I discovered that we don't need to, this. if you start turning it by your right, you must be turning it to the right and say it get done. If you change hand, no, that you don't care. Lovely. Okay. They say if you change hand, it will turn. It will be too bitter. So this is the way they are doing it.
we are going to add sugar into our liha. Thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoy watching thank you so much for your time your support i do not take it for granted so this lady you can order your liha from her she sell wholesale or you are doing your party you can call her and she will do your liha for you thank you so much and i will see you in my next video for now bye